My name is possible and I'll be your tutor for today. In our previous lecture, we ended on the personal income, disposable income, and their computations. Today is of no exception. We are going to look at the approaches to the measurement of national income or the methods to the measurement of national income. And we are saying that the approaches will be categorized into three. Three. One is products or production or output approach. Two, expenditure approach. Three, income approach. So we are saying that all these approaches, if you use them correctly, they will give you the same answer. When you use product approach, the answer you get for that must be the same as the answer you get for the expenditure approach. And it must also be the same as the answer that you get for income approach. Why is this one like that? Don't forget the circular flow model that we began. We said that your income is someone's expenditure. And then it is a product that you expend the income on. So product is equal to expenditure and is equal to income approach. Now rest, uh, relax a bit and take a sip of water whilst I unfold them one after the other onto you. Now, the first one is the product approach. Now product approach, for you to understand product approach very well, you should be able to categorize the economy into three sectors. Primary sector, secondary sector, and the tertiary. So, to be able to understand product approach, get to know that all the items that fall under primary sector will be put together, put together with the secondary sector, put together with the tertiary sector, and then the answer that you get will give you the GDP, gross domestic product at market price. I hope you are getting it. So when you see something like mining and those things, put all of them together. Yes, indeed. We have seen that if we have the GDP, we can add net factor income from abroad to it and get GNP and then subtract depreciation and get NNP. But the question is, how are we going to get the GDP itself? And then we are saying that the first approach is the product or production or output approach. So the production or the output approach, we put all the various items under the various sectors of the economy together. The primary sector focusing on the raw materials, and then the secondary sector focuses on the industrial aspect, conversion of raw materials into finished goods. And then the tertiary aspect focuses on the production of services. Now let us look at some of the items that we have to put them together in order to get the GDP under the product approach. When you see something like manufacturing, We you see something like agriculture, add it. Manufacturing is secondary, agriculture is primary, construction is service, mining, add it. Commerce, commerce like trading, add it. Transportation and utilities, add it. Wholesale and retail trade, add it. Finance, insurance, and rental estate, add it. Then government services, add them. And then you subtract bank charges and then you subtract statistical discrepancies. So what we are trying to say is that under the product or the production or the output approach, we focus on the various sectors of the economy. We give reverence to the primary sector, the secondary sector, 
and the tertiary sector. And you put all of them together, and when you put all of them together, the answer that we get will be GDP at market price. GDP at market price. And then we go into the question and then we search for our net factor income from abroad. And then we, we add it up and we get GNP. And then we subtract depreciation and then we get NNP. And then we add subsidy and we subtract tax, indirect tax, indirect tax. And then we get NNP at factor cost. That is the product approach. So under the product approach, we less statistical discrepancy, statistical discrepancy. These are the errors that are incurred in the computation of the product approach. Statistical discrepancy, statistical error. We, we less it, we subtract it. Listen to me, we subtract it, and then we subtract bank charges and those things, and then we get gross domestic products, and then we move with it. So that is the product approach. And the next one, so over here, the answer we're going to get, we're going to get GDP at market price. GDP at market, GDP at market price. And then here we're going to get GDE at market price, gross domestic expenditure, because we're working at the expenditure approach. Notwithstanding, I have told you that all of them will give you the same answer. So please don't be confused about that. Now, under the expenditure approach, that is my favorite aspect. This one is easy to be used. Now, under the expenditure approach, that is what you have been doing. We said that the expenditure items, they are the consumption, investment, government expenditure, exports minus imports. You put all of them together and then you get us the gross domestic expenditure. Gross domestic expenditure. So that is how the expenditure also works. So the expenditure is fixed. Investment plus um, investment, consumption plus investment, sorry, consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports. That one will give you what is called, what is called gross domestic expenditure. Gross domestic expenditure. So gross domestic expenditure too, we focus on the expenditure that has transpired within the economy for a particular period. The next one, which is the income approach. The income approach. We are saying that the income approach also will give us GDI. Now, I'm very particular about the income approach. Look at it carefully. Income approach. Now, the income approach, when you put all the items together, you're not going to get at market price. No. You are going to get it in factor cost. Factor cost. Because the income, the components of the income, we said that they are the rewards that are that we are getting from the factors of production and then we said that when a household sells those items he gets what we call factor income don't forget factor income and then because of that when we put all the items that correspond to the income approach together we are not going to get the value in market price we are rather going to get the value in factor cost i hope you are getting it so under the income approach we are saying that the income approach is also simple but if you want to understand it make sure to uh, group the economy according to the like the factors of production the rewards that uh, that we are getting from the factors of what the factors of production so it looks like i listed some here and then i want to take my time something like proprietor's income proprietor's income is an income right there proprietor's income, like it's entrepreneur's income, right? It's coming to you. Income from self-employed, is an income. Compensation of employees, it is an income. Profit from joint stock corporations, it is an income. Profit from public corporations, it is an income. Dividend, it is an income. Rent and royalties, it is an income. Income from workers or employment or wages, it is an income. Undistributed profits, 
it is an income. Rental income of persons, it is an income. Corporate profit tax liability. Yes, corporate tax, corporate profit tax liability. I have not yet paid it. It is an income, right? So we put all of them together, net interest. All of them are income. When you put all of them together, you are going to get what is called gross domestic income at factor cost. But please, please, under the product of which intermediate goods, we subtract. Stock appreciation, we subtract. It is a wait for income. We subtract stock appreciation from the income approach. When you are working on the income approach, stock appreciation, make sure to subtract it. Right? So in our next lecture, we are going to do computation, full question. We are going to do calculations, calculations, calculations. So pick up your calculator, pick up your pen, get a new notebook or jotter, put it beside you, put a bottle of water beside you, make sure to eat. If you are feeling sleepy, sleep, box and sleep. When you wake up, continue with the calculation. I hope you are getting it. So in our next lecture, we are going to fill the tent. We are going to perform a lot of computations. Once again, my name is Possible from Ghana. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye.